Sup guys and welcome to part three of this drawing. I'm gonna be recording a bunch of these for each individual drawing. Um I would love to put these together, take out the bits that I don't like, but I don't know how to edit. So and I wanna get content out just to get some practice. Uh and at one point I'll start editing these but I just want to have the fun of editing I mean not editing fucking recording I want to have that kind of fun first I want to have a little bit of fun with with the recording part that looks like a Rottweiler don't it? kinda Looks like the symbol of one. Doesn't look like realistic one, which not exactly what I'm going for. I'm not trying to go for a realistic. Why would you want to do that with furry on a drawing when you're just trying to make it simplistic? <laughs> That's the whole point of this. Was to try to make a cartoony try to try a cartoonish realism mix. Where I'm not gonna make it like Bright and colorful! Bright and colorful's for birds. Not dogs. Not canines. When it comes to this style. Unless they're pumped full of radiation. And of course they're gonna glow. And not a pretty glow either. But yeah. Normal cartoons, and I've seen a lot of artists where it's like, the character has bioluminescence. It's like, oh. Okay. That's cool. When practically none of mine glow for no real reason. If one of my characters is glowing, it's probably because they're one of my uh, genetically modified characters. Um, where the character is supposed to be like... A soldier that's been messed they're been messed with uh because i'm currently writing a book i'm not going to be announcing any real details but you know sup and stuff at least people won't know and it's going to be a long time before i actually have it done i barely have chapter one done but i have all the design works down that i like i don't want to change it too much from when i have it but if I have to, yeah, I'll probably change it a little bit. Or if I uh, grow up a little bit, I'll learn. Oh yeah, it's a bad idea for this and this and that. But, yeah. I keep thinking there's shit there. You won't see it, but uh, my screen's a little dirty, <laughs> so I see a bunch of shit that shouldn't really be there. Also, if you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using an Intuos Wacom drawing tablet. If you're ever curious, I have a relatively good drawing tablet. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it if you have a budget. <laughs> the thing is, rather expensive. It, it does hurt the wallet, I promise. Look it up. Uh, the one I have is rather large. It's... Um, about the size of a lot of uh, mouse pads you put your uh, mouse on. Maybe a little bigger. Not by much. Uh, but the, the cheaper ones are about a lot smaller. And they work. They work very well. It's just really hard to do, like, do certain things, in my opinion. Because I have to concentrate my work a lot more. As in, like, kind of like when you squeeze a, a lemon. 
Okay, so I can't like flip this like I can with my uh, my uh, sketchbook. At least I don't know. I don't think I can. I mean, I technically could lasso it, put it upside down, and judge it by my hand. But I'm gonna dangle my hand a bit. So on this end would be where his thumb is. So you'd see a bit of a. You'd see where that is. And it's supposed to be simplistic, so I'm not really gonna do any serious details on his hand. But I'm gonna do that little bit right there to show where his thumb and uh, stuff separate. And then on this hand, this one's gonna be a whole lot more fun to do. Because I actually have to make the hand joint. Like, the joint, not the flabby shit that goes over the joint. Uh, then I have to make the plate that uh, all of the finger joints have to hold up on. And I want to do this like the one I, I like to do, um, which has, for the thumb joint, you have a little joint there, and then you have for your four fingers, you have these joints here. And then judging by position, you'd have like a bit there, and a bit there. I'm going to put a little line there showing that the hand is in a fist. And that all this is is going to be just the drawing that I put everything onto that tells you how much detail I'm going to be putting in this just by it being simplistic. Because just because you're making it simplistic does not mean it cannot have detail. And again, that's like saying, uh, I'm a vegan and I eat meat. Yes, we exist. That's not the definition of vegan. Anyway. Uh, but, you know. I don't think it, some people understand the meaning of pretty much anything they hear. Anyway. Um, so this is going to be the robotic hand that, uh, is there. This is his other arm. I'm hoping this comes out a lot better than the, uh, bosom dude I tried to draw before, which came out terribly. Then again, I'm not good with humans. I'm terrible at drawing humans. I love the animals. A lot more. I don't know why, but I feel a lot easier to draw a, uh, something that's slightly human, but not. Especially if it's an animal. Because the system to draw an animal, the nose and stuff, is a whole lot simpler to me. And the anime nose doesn't work with my art too well. It makes it look like I'm trying to make some shitty fan art for somebody starts looking like freaking I don't know uh, that stupid uh, Sonic meme uh, something the hedgehog I keep forgetting his name he was pretty uh, big it was all the do you know the way and all that you got a knuckles that's in his name I I liked him he was funny uh, and I made a bunch of jokes on certain chats. It's like, Dad is dead, you normie. And I'm sort of like, but that's the point. It ruffles your jimmies. Your jimmies are ruffled. They are all rustled. Which, that's also a dead meme. I kind of like to bring up dead memes because it makes people angry. But it still makes sense for the joke. You're still rustling somebody's jimmies. <laughs> and then jimmies are not falling down a well. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. I didn't make a Lassie reference just now. A show I've never actually...